let's look at Zach Rorig, who plays Matt in The Vampire Diaries. Right off the bat, we're seeing pretty male-looking hands. This isn't a very female-looking shape or, you know, quite big knuckles. Wrists looking pretty big. And the shape of the arms, fairly male-looking. Um, brow ridge here. Deep-set eyes. Sunlight coming in, so he's squinting, but I think they're pretty big, usually. Wide dental arch. Um, bit of a cleft chin, I think. Strong chin. You know, not a not a really broad jaw, but the strength of the features is pretty pronounced, all the same. Here, looking a bit doughy. These hands don't look very female, though. These look like man hands. Kind of big around the knuckles and tendony and veiny and stuff, which, you know, maybe they can increase that look in uh, some people taking testosterone, but um, I'm inclined to think that's just kind of male look. Mm. He's got a strong facial structure. Big ear. You know, that defined brow ridge for sure. Shoulders looking pretty square. Right, so, eyes looking bigger here. Yeah, it's pretty projected male energy, I'd say. Strong cheekbone. Um, fairly full lips. Yeah. This is quite a soft looking face, just with strong cheekbones and brow, but the eyes are wide set, the mouth is wide, there's quite a gap here, so it's a kind of mixture of features yet again, male looking hairline. Yeah, these shoulders, they are very, very square shoulders, definitely could fit three, three heads on these shoulders, which is a male trait. Thick neck, see the bone structure fairly easily, arms looking quite long, yeah, so the face isn't isn't like a really gaunt and a strong jutting kind of face. It does look pretty male still. The dimensions look quite male. All right, so again, not too much of a, a slope going here, but with the surname, the name looks kind of German. So I'm imagining he's from the kind of northern. European region, his ancestry anyway, he's American, but uh, where they have this kind of more flat or rounded shape to the upper part of the head. It does look like we've got, again, the brow ridge. The facial lines, again, it's not like really gaunt, but it is quite sharp still, which isn't female. Very straight shape here. Definitely got an Adonis belt here. Um, but everything here is in shadow, so you can't really see the back shape. But you know, nothing, nothing suspicious looking, as far as I can tell. Uh, it looks like a German guy here, sure. You know, shoulder bones definitely will be wider than. Uh, where the leg meets the hip, and, you know, the hip bones seem to be at the right sort of height. Um, fairly long torso, it's a male trait. Uh, arms aren't overly long. Yeah, no, arms are actually quite short. Yeah, crotch level seems to be more about a female kind of length. Not sure about that one, but you know, this very straight body line. No defined Q angle, you know, looking male to me. Okay, so he's pulling a bit of an odd face here, but I'm pretty sure it is still um, him. The main thing here for me is these look like pretty big feet. I don't know any women who have really big feet. So yeah, looking like we have some male leg shape. Doesn't look like we've really got any curving going on around the Rear, the hips, the back, you know, arms looking fairly long, legs looking fairly male-shaped. Eh, it's a bit bent here, but 
if he straightens it out, I think we've got about the same uh, same lengths of the index and ring finger for the digit ratio. Got a fairly kind of gentle demeanor about him, but you know, the features still look pretty pretty broad and wide spaced and more male than female, so thinking this could be one of those guys that has a somewhat more effeminate kind of trait to some of the features, but you know, when you look at the body line and overall it's too many masculine traits to be quite female. <laughs> Yeah, again, energy from the eyes does seem to be quite, quite fierce. So he's got a gentle face and kind of demeanor overall, but, you know, the energy in the eyes, to me, seems very male. Definite brow ridge, again, the dimensions of all these facial traits looks very male. Shoulders, neck, looking like a guy. So yeah, I'm gonna weigh in with my opinion here, and... You can decide differently, just look at all of the traits for yourself and make your own decision. I do think that though there is a deception and there are gender inverted people in the media and, you know, a number of them in different populations of the world as well, I'm going to say that I want to err on the side of caution and I don't want to believe that there are vast numbers and I don't want to believe we're outnumbered. I think it's better to approach these kinds of, um, you know, the word conspiracy has a bad connotation, but that is essentially what we're talking about here. And so, you know, I want to approach this conspiracy with a temperate, level-headed approach. And I don't want to immediately, you know, jump off the boat and say, one's a transgender, they're all transgenders. Because when I look at these traits, when I look at these people and study them in depth, looking at all of their features that I can see, you know, some of them still look like the right gender. And as I've mentioned before, I do think there is a pollution of hormones and chemicals in our environment that changes the appearance of male and female a little bit, especially in my generation. So I would say a lot of people under the age of 30 and down to, you know, everyone growing up now is going to have been exposed to unprecedented levels of hormones and may present differently to what you'd expect for a male or a female. But still, when you look at all of the traits, I'm still seeing a balance to this person that makes me believe he's male. So, I do seem to see more that I think are male in the media industry than I see more that, I, that are coming across as actually female. So, there might be a bit of an imbalance there. Or, you know, it's possible I'm seeing everything wrong. But for me, I feel I feel pretty confident and comfortable in the way I'm presenting these videos and analysing these people. So, you know, up to you. Make your choice. This is what I believe. And that's that.